Zansi. The South African Police Service confirmed that the widow of a senior police officer who was involved in the Senzo Meiwa murder investigation has been shot dead in a drive-by shooting in Fosslers. Brigadier Pilani Ndlovo was one of the most senior police officers at the crime scene and where former football star Meiwa was gunned down at the Fosslers home of his uh, then-girlfriend Kelly Kumalo. Hey hey Mzansi, hello and welcome to Entertainment News and Zansi. If you're new to this channel, you know you're here for the stories. Go ahead, click the subscribe button and, of course, the bell, and you'll never miss an update. Now, Zansi, Brigadier Ndlovu, who was retired, died in May last year, a few weeks after the start of the first Mayua murder trial, which was sitting at the North Gauteng High Court in Pretoria before Judge Chifua Maumela. Now, some reports said he was poisoned, while others said he was ill. Brigadier Ndlovu was not ex expected to testify in the murder trial as he had not deposed a statement now according to the national prosecuting authority but his name has been mentioned a number of times during the Mayua murder trial both under judge maumela and a second trial under judge ratata mohatling now mzansi his wife nuntandla has now been murdered almost 18 months later in a hail of bullets police spokesperson lieutenant colonel mavela masondo confirmed police were investigating a murder case he said mrs Nlovu was driving in Fosnurus at about 12 50 p.m on sunday when suspects fired at her from another vehicle that was driving alongside her now mzansi it is reported that the deceased was driving in Fosnurus on sunday november 5 2023 at approximately 12 50 p.m when she was shot at by suspects who were driving parallel to her the motive for the killing is unknown at this stage police are appealing to anyone who might have information that can help in the investigation or, or assist in the apprehension of the suspects to please call the nearest police station or call crime stop on 08600 10 said Masondo. Now, how did Brigadier Ndlovu and uh, how Brigadier Ndlovu has featured in the Mayua case? Brigadier Ndlovu was accused of being one of the officers who were part of a cover-up on the, of the 2014 murder during the first trial. Advocate Malisela Defu, who is now disbarred, said Brigadier Ndlovu, who was the head of the Gauteng Provincial Detectives and was in charge of the crime scene, was amongst the people guiding the unwitting forensic officer Tabo Musia into the staged scene through tactics including intimidation. Forensic officer Mosia got involved in the Mayua murder case after he received a call from Brigadier Ndlovu about a robbery at the crime scene. He had been on standby that evening. Now, according to the Isizulu News publication, Isolezwe, Mrs. Ndlovu had been in Gauteng for about three weeks and was now living in Eshowe, KZN, since the death of her husband now it was reported that she had been at the shopping center before she was gunned down a family spokesperson jabul and lovu told isolezwe that they were still in shook after the murder she was in Joburg to attend to some matters we are shocked by this mur murder and we don't know why she would be murdered in this way he said five accused muzika okulelo sistemba sibia Bongani Sandiso Ntanzi, Mtobisi Prince Ngube, Mtokozeseni Zipo Zonke Mapisa, and Fisogu Shlenkanin Duli are standing trial at the North Gauteng High Court in Pretoria for the murder of the footballer Senzo Meiwa. Now there you have it, Mzansi. Now both the Ndlovus are apparently no more. I mean, Brigadier Ndlovu, there was once rumors on Twitter, you know how Twitter goes, that uh, he probably is not dead, he's probably hidden or something like that because he was also part and parcel of the people that uh, you know tefo was uh, also doing his own little investigation when he said that they all were playing a role in fabricating and of course staging the murder scene now it is still unknown who killed senzo Meiwa. the five men that i've just mentioned are still standing trial and currently it is a trial within a trial that is never ending and a lot of things keep coming up and uh, it is still uh, the police who are involved in the investigation and the apprehension of the five men versus the defense team as they are still trying to prove that these two statements of the first two suspects one and two were coerced and that they were assaulted into you know signing those pre-written 
allegedly statements. And of course, now that Mrs. Ndovu, who happens to have been the late, um, who's also late now, but who also happens to be the late Brigadier Ndovu's uh, then wife, you know, widow, um, is now also gunned down. And the question is, why and how? And also what is very ironic is that uh, two days ago, the uh, car the police officer that was uh, on stand, Mohane, had mentioned something like there are witnesses on those dockets when he thought that the five accused men were going through um, the statement uh, that he had written of the cases that he was busy investigating on, uh, you know, around the time of him handling accused number two, who is Ndanzi. And he said that there was some of the witnesses were written there and that he's scared that some of them might die. Then boom, bam, bam, uh, two days or three days later, somebody actually does die. So was Mrs. Ndlovu a witness? Was she um, murdered because uh, of this murder trial? The investigations are still going on and we will soon find out, or maybe, you know, or sometimes these things get swept under the rug. But let me know your thoughts about this in the comment section. You know, I love to hear from you, but for now, you know, I will bring you the updates hot just the way you like it.